Now for the upload phase. If you are uploading from my GitHub, our curated data set, I urge you to include all of the contents of the file, which include the YAML or the readme files and all of the labels, so not just the images. But I wanted to upload and do a run through of what it's like when a photo isn't annotated and how we go about annotating that. So as you can see, I just clicked on a couple uh, photos from my from my computer. Um, I recommend using Dropbox or Google Drive to to save large large file formats. Um, these were just saved to my computer. So once I'm done uploading, I hit finish uploading. And what this will do is, as mentioned before, this is where collaboration is key. I am the only person on this project right now, so I'm just the only teammate that's going to be labeling. But you can use other people. You can leverage a whole team to annotate and label an entire data set. For my purposes, I'm just gonna assign them to myself. If you were going to assign them to others, definitely use the instruction tool and I'll walk through what that can that instruction might look like. So this is where the instructions would populate. You can see here who is assigned to labeling and who is doing what at what time. Great way to track progress um, and keep things consistent. I click on the first photo and what it will do is it will eventually populate, which is great. But what is unfortunate is that as this photo starts to load, I'm starting to see potential signs of damage. Here we see no roof, uh, torn down shingles and siding and debris littered everywhere. But again, for our purposes, we are trying to find out architecture and damage. So what I'm going to be using are the tools over here, which as labeled as such, the most important one is bounding box. And what that's going to do is allow us to click and draw a bounding box around the object. Now, this is a house, um, but we now need to label this object in terms of how it is damaged. I'm using FEMA's preliminary damage assessment. And as I mentioned in the earlier introductory videos, FEMA is like a big agency that requires damage assessment and leverages damage assessment for decision making. So using, you know, what is currently operating in the disaster recovery world, I am going to stick with their, you know, predetermined, pre-described types of damage. And in this light, it'll help planning prioritization by using what FEMA is asking for. They want to know what's affected. They want to know what is actually destroyed. So from the looks of it, and using FEMA's PDA or preliminary damage assessment protocols and descriptions, I would assess this as destroyed. Now, before this was a human, human input process, someone would see this and they'd label it how they needed. I'm going to be using a very specific annotation protocol as FEMA has instructed, and I'm gonna label this one destroyed, which means it's missing a roof, it's missing siding, and it's definitely unlivable. So once we have one bounding box done, we have our labels. Now, if you need to generate the labels, you can always use this clicking button, and you can click and all the labels will appear here. In the event you delete one, feel free to just add it back in um, or even edit the names. And what it will do is it will edit for all of the photos you've labeled destroyed. Right now I just have one, so let's click further and annotate another. Now this home looks in pristine shape. What I'm going to do is draw a bounding box because even though it's not damaged, I'm going to label it as affected, which means no damage to potential damage on the inside of the home. Very entry level, honestly, no damage at all. And what this will do is it'll allow the machine to recognize destroyed homes, but also not destroyed homes. Let's take one more look at another example. Hmm. Here we have a mailbox. This is not a building and it's not a home. So instead of drawing a box, which will throw off the algorithm and really confuse it, thinking a mailbox is a structure, I'm going to mark this as null.
Now, let's add all of these annotated photos to our damage assessment.